A lot of people search for a wireless card capable of capturing packets in Linux for penetration testing purposes. Today we have the opportunity to review the Alpha Network Card, the AWUS036ACM wireless card is a high speed USB adapter that is fully compatible with Kali Linux, no drivers required. A widely used operating system for penetration testing and cybersecurity purposes. To connect the card to Kali Linux, we will be using VirtualBox and its USB pass through feature, which allows us to directly access the wireless card within a virtual environment. During our testing, we will evaluate the data transfer speeds claimed by the AWUS036ACM. It boasts speed of up to 867 megabytes per second on the 5 gigahertz band, and we are eager to see if it lives up to its claims. In addition, we will also test the new AWUS036 ATM support for WPA3, the latest and most secure Wi Fi encryption protocol available. But first, let's finish with a brief unboxing experience. Inside the box, we find the 5 dBi antennas, a USB extension cord, and a manual, which provides all the necessary components for setting up the wireless card. Next, we will proceed to connect the AWUS036ACM to our test device, an HP ProDesk running Windows 11. Rest assured, we will also test it under Linux. The blue light indicator confirms that the card is operational. Remember to connect it to USB 3 port to ensure optimal performance. Regarding drivers and performance, the card was recognized by Windows, but it is worth noting that installing a dedicated driver is optional. However, we encounter an issue after installing the driver. The card failed to connect to a Cisco access point. Unfortunately, we were unable to determine the cause of this problem. The card did not even try to reach our Cisco access point, so no logs to collect there. To connect the card to Kali Linux, we redirected the USB port and used the lsusb command, followed by the iwconfig command. If it doesn't work initially, we suggest trying a different USB port, disconnecting and reconnecting the card or rebooting Kali. With a few attempts, the connection should establish successfully. VirtualBox can be somewhat finicky when it comes to a USB pass-through. Once connected, you can begin capturing wireless traffic. In our upcoming video, we will demonstrate how to crack WPA2. For now, let's focus on assessing the card's speed. To establish a reference point, we conducted a LAN test by copying a file using a Gigabit NIC card. The transfer speed averaged around 100 to 110 megabytes per second, which is satisfactory. Moving on, we connected to a test access point and the negotiated link speed was observed to be 600 slash 866. During an upload test, we achieved speeds of approximately 55 megabytes per second, around 450 Mbps. Notably, when compared to an older D-Link 802.11 AC card, proved to be significantly faster. For the tech enthusiasts, we also assessed the signal quality and strength. The result demonstrated that the inclusion of two 5 dBi antennas indeed made a notable difference. However, we did encounter an issue with the card's negotiation of WPA3. It failed to establish a connection, which was disappointing considering that an Acer laptop had no trouble connecting to the same WPA3 access point. That concludes our review for now. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments and stay tuned for our upcoming video where we will demonstrate how to crack WPA2.